Good morning. I am gonna go make me some breakfast. It is 11 o'clock, so I'm gonna go make my banana pancake recipe. I'm soaking some oats at the moment, which I'm gonna turn into oat milk so I can use that for it. So I am making my own non-dairy milk today. My friend's actually coming around for dinner tonight, so I need to try and make what I was gonna make go for two people. I've soaked all of the kidney beans for that. Um, so I'm just going to need to boil those up later. This is being balanced rather precariously on the microwave on some other gloves. I've got some blended oats here with some water. There was like 15 grams of oats and 75 grams of water. Let milk there. Pour it in. Using this to get all the rest of it out. These are so useful. People who don't own these and bake, I just don't understand. Just squeezing it out. I mean, obviously this is so much cheaper than buying non-dairy milk because oats are so cheap and obviously it's just water. But the non-dairy milks you buy are full of vitamins and things like that, or extra calcium. It's like, well, I'm gonna get all the help that I can because <laughs> my diet's not that healthy. Oh, this is making disgusting noises. I'm just gonna use the same bowl that had the oats in it. It's banana, which is kind of bruised and I can't open it. Stick half of that in there, so I did the half another time. Chill up. And then I'm just gonna add in the oat milk. Oh, about 50 grams. Yes, there's a little bit left there. Maybe I'll incorporate that into something else today. Two together. And then 50 grams of flour. Got my jar. 15 grams of oats. It's because my normal recipe is like 25 grams for double. So it's like 13 grams of oats, but I'm just gonna do 15. Then I am gonna do a sprinkle of cinnamon. This is one that I have already topped up before. Mixy mix. I'm inside the rest of this milk in actually. Don't wanna waste it. This is the kind of consistency you want. And I would normally put some kind of frozen fruit or chocolate chips in this, so I'm gonna add in some of the cacao nibs that I bought. And now I'm gonna heat up a pan. I forgot to put baking powder in. This again is something I've bought previously from the Zero Wish. So I'm just putting in slightly less than half a tablespoon because I've already got one cooking. We'll see how that one looks. Also what I'm really sad about with these is that I can't put maple syrup on them, so I may have to get inventive with some peaches. With baking powder? Without baking powder. making my lunch and doing like fried rice, frying up some veg at the moment while watching safe on Netflix. My phone is just left the room so I'm just quickly <laughs> intro.
Oh my god, it's too hard. <laughs> How to make guacamole. <laughs> I feel like a long period of time has passed without me saying anything because my friend was here and she's now gone. It's like 10 o'clock. I made his dinner, made a like series of Mexican style things. I did like a refried beans quesadilla with um, some tortilla wraps that I made, with some kidney beans, some lime juice, cumin, smoked paprika, oregano, and chili powder. Just a load of things to go with that. I made some guacamole with slightly unripe avocado, uh, the same seasonings. Oh yeah, I also put some sundried tomatoes in. Like fried up some mushrooms, onions and pepper with, again, same seasonings. I made some tortilla chips out of what I cut off around the wraps. And I also roasted up some of the cauliflower leaves from when I had like prepared the cauliflower for my lunch. I roasted them up with just some oil and they were really nice. It tasted like kale chips. I don't know how long I roasted them for. I think it was maybe 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, I feel like everything was kind of fine today, but everything was slightly lacking in something. So the pancakes this morning were slightly lacking in maple syrup, and then the vegetable fried rice thing would have been better with soy sauce. Some toasted cashews, yeah, that's something I could have bought, but I already had, so. Yeah, I also added in salt and pepper, obviously, to this dinner tonight, because my friend was coming and I wanted it to be seasoned. It was kind of fun, but it felt like a lot of effort. My camera battery died. Yeah, because my friend was coming around, I didn't completely do zero waste because I made cake yesterday, so that was partly why she came around, was to have some of that. So yeah, I had some of that, and to be honest, I just realised that I came on my period as well, so I do not feel bad about the fact that I had some cake earlier, because let's be honest, I needed it. I'm kind of annoyed that I come on like in the evening because I was wanting to try out that this zero waste shop also sells reusable pads and I'm really interested in trying them even though I'm really not sure. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, so I may try I may get some tomorrow and potentially stick a review thing on the end of this. I'm just gonna read a bit of Harry Potter und der Stein der Weisen. Reading this very slowly <laughs> before I go to bed, which is the wrong time to read in another language. Yeah, and then I'm gonna go to bed because I've got work tomorrow. <laughs> this is just a quick thing before I use it for the first time. Look how cute it is! It's got like beavers and meerkats on it. <laughs> I'm just gonna quickly give my review of the reusable pad that I bought. So if this is something you're not interested in, if it's TMI, then you can you can go and solve it. <laughs> so super quick, as you can see, changing background, I'm currently in the process of moving out and I need to pack up my tripod, so it was something I thought thought I should probably get on and do this. But yeah, I was actually pretty impressed. I thought it was something that I would hate um, and find really weird, but actually it's really simple to use, it's really easy to just rinse out and then just stick in the washing machine and it dries pretty quickly and it's so comfortable <laughs> like it's really comfortable I would highly recommend I'm planning to get a couple more so that I can just switch them around and hopefully completely stop using single use pads so yeah would, would definitely recommend Hope you enjoyed watching this video and that you found it interesting and I'm aware that I could have done it better. It just would have involved stocking up on quite a lot of stuff so I imagine if it's something you can do regularly then you could do it well. But yeah, that's all for now then. Hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Bye!